Hi Virgo, welcome to Virgo Speaks Tarot, I'm Shawnee. Hi guys, sorry about the lighting. <laughs> Let me see. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fabulous today, Virgo. All right, so let's get into your daily, daily message, guys. Thank you for all of your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Um, Let me see if I can fix this camera. Hold on a sec. Okay, there we go, Virgo. That's a little bit better for me. All right, guys. So, yeah, my son was playing around with my tripod like it was some kind of um, trident. He called it, um, what's that movie um, with Aquaman? Yeah. So he's fascinated with that uh, Aquaman character. And I'm like, boy, if you don't put my tripod down, you know how kids are. As soon as they touch something, it's, it's like broke or something. Okay, but hey guys, hi Virgo. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's tap in. Let's tap in, guys. So let's see what's going on for Thursday. I have three decks here we're going to pull from to get some energy for Virgo, some clarity, some answers, some guidance. This is your general daily read. So let's see what's going on for Virgo, Holy Spirit. Thank you. All right, anxiety again. Okay, so this energy has came out before. Okay, so you may have some anxiety now, Virgo. Now, I feel like when this card came out in the past, as you can see, there's victory here at the bottom. Um, but when this anxiety came out in another reading that I did for you guys, it was regarding finances, okay? You were worried about your money, your finances, your income, okay? Um, now this could be some anxiety, some stress, some worry about a decision, okay? It's like you want to make sure you're on the right path or you're going in the right direction. Now, Virgo, I, I see two eights here, all right? So I feel like Virgo... I feel like this is like the path of the abundance. This is your, your, you want to, you guys, you're trying to make the right decision here. You're trying to take the money path and you don't know which way to go. Now, remember guys, the reading that I did, I believe yesterday, or it was your money reading. It was a confirmation that you are on the right path. Okay, guys, sorry about that. That's Stella in the background. My son is doing obedience training with her <laughs> so um they're in the um other room okay so let's see what's going on all right so some anxiety about if you're gonna make the right choice the right decision and i'm feeling intuitively virgo to trust your gut virgo trust your inner wisdom trust use your intuition virgo okay this is where you're gonna take the lead and make the righteous move by allowing yourself to be spiritually guided okay guys so first remove the worry and concern and anxiety Okay, and ask for clarity and guidance at this time. If you are at a, you know, if you have to make a very important decision about your life, about your future, you're a little worried about it, you guys ask for guidance and direction and it will be given to you. Okay, because we have victory here at the bottom of the deck. So this is letting me know, Virgo, already that Whatever you're worried about, whatever you're concerned about, stressed about, you're going to make the right decision. Look at this. This is beautiful. Look at this. I don't even know if you guys could really get the essence of this card. This is beautiful. This is victory. Virgo, you're golden. Okay. You guys are going to make it. Okay. what? Make it out. It's like stepping out of the dark into the light. You guys are going to make it down. And this money path, 
okay? It's like there's a lot of gifts, a lot of blessings, a lot of abundance down this path. This is the victorious path, all right, where you're going to be very successful, Virgo. So let's tap in a little bit more here. Let's tap in a little bit more for Virgo. So I see that whatever this is, um, that you're worried about, you will be guided through it, all right? So make sure that you ask for that and be very thankful and grateful for that guidance. All right, so this next pal, we're going to pull some tarot, but first we're going to get the other messages. So these messages may... Um, this this message may from this deck may connect with this pal or it may be a, a different completely separate message so let's see what the holy spirit has for you virgo today what is the message guidance answers clarity for virgo what's going on with virgo that virgo needs to be aware of yes beautiful another eight all right so i knew that that was significant here all right, so we have 17, which is 8. We have 8, 8. 8, 8, 8 is your angel number today, Virgo. If you guys are seeing 8, 8, 8, this is a big message of, it's it's all about abundance. It's all about wealth and financial security. There is that victory here. So Virgo, spirit is like, have hope, have faith in your situation. You're in God's hands, Okay. You're in God's hands. You're going to be taken care of, okay, Virgo? All right, guys, that's what this message is. This is a message of encouragement, a message to let you know that you will be guided down the money path, the path of victory, the path of success, okay? The path of abundance, Virgo. That's what's going on here, guys. You're going to overcome whatever that's bringing you this, this anxiety, at the bottom of the deck, we have number two. This is all about movement, choices, and decisions. I can't make this up, guys. So whatever indecision, whatever whatever like confusion you have about what a decision you have to make, you're unclear. There may even be some confusion, some fog. All of that is going to get cleared up, okay? Once you... Get this spiritual guidance, Virgo. Once you know that you can trust yourself because you are spiritually, divinely connected. Once you trust yourself, you're going to make the right path. You're going to make the right decision, the right choice. You're going to, there's going to be movement here. All right. We have abundance, marriage. There's major growth, opportunities, new beginnings. It's like Virgo. There's so much here. All right, guys. You guys are going to make the right choice. Just have hope. Have faith in yourself. You know what it is that is best for you right now. Um, whether it is um, new love. Whether it's, you know, reaching those, you know, heights. You know, reaching those financial goals, climbing that ladder of success, you know, really entering this new life of abundance, okay? We're talking financially here. You guys make those decisions that's best for you, all right? For your future, for you to grow, prosper, you know, grow and become very prosperous, all right? So, yeah, I'm just hearing prosperity, all right? Underneath movement, choices, and decisions, we have the third card, transformation and destiny, Virgo. So this is what you're being, you're being spiritually guided, okay, guys, on the right path, on, I feel like, it's like you're being guided to the right, to the righteous path. I keep hearing that. All right. So Virgo, there's a major transformation happening in your life. There's a major change happening. So that's what's going on, guys. It may be a little, you know, it may be a little uneasy. It's not pretty right now, you know, because it's. It's a lot of changes happening, all right? But you're going to make the right decision that's best for your future. 
And I see that you will with the victory card here. Oh my gosh. So movement, choices, and decisions. I love it. For some of you, you've been praying for new love. For some of you, you've just been praying for a fresh new start, a brand new job. You know, for some of you, you've been you've been waiting for this abundance. These doors are opening up for you, Virgo. It's like, what do you want? You can walk through any door you want, okay? Rebuilding your life, starting over, you know, just whatever it is. It's a transformation happening, okay? So let's see what else. When it comes to Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, show me what Virgo needs to be aware of. What does Virgo need to see? Yes, we have another two. We have spread your wings. This is beautiful, Virgo. This is what Spirit wants you to know, Virgo. It's time to spread your wings. And as you can see, it's like she has wings here. She has wings. This transformation that's happening. The butterfly... Um, the uh, caterpillar has now turned into the butterfly. All right, guys, there's going to be major movement here happening in your life, Virgo. With this transformation, Spirit is saying, spread your wings now, Virgo. It's time for you to fly. It's time for you to soar. It's time for you to get out there and, and, and experience this new life. It's time for you to walk through that door. Wow. At the bottom of the deck, we have number nine. Rest and reconsider. Hmm. I feel like Virgo, let's see what's going on here. We have win or lose. Okay. I'm getting the energy straight up that spirit is saying, Virgo, it's up to you. It's, you know, it's almost like Virgo... It's all, it's going to come down to how bad you want it. For some of you, I've, I'm just getting the energy. You can win or lose, Virgo. You know, this transformation time could be too much. It can, you know, this climbing this ladder of success can be too much. It can bring, you know, too much anxiety, you know, on you, on your spirit. Spirit is saying, Virgo, you're either going to win or you're going to lose. Which one do you want? That's what I'm picking up, guys. All right? Like, you can either rest or you can keep going. Okay? It's like, it's time for you to take off. It's time for you to spread those wings. For some of you, you know, you may get caught up in your emotions and can't go the distance. And that's what spirit is saying. You're either going to, not everyone is going to make it to the finish line. It's up to you, Virgo. You're either going to win or you're going to lose. Okay. That's what I'm picking up, guys. But for a lot of you, I see two, two, two. Here's the third two that's coming out in the reading. So blossom, Virgo. So we have two angel numbers that have appeared 888 and 222. All right, Virgo. So I feel like you're going to blossom. I feel like you're going to, your life is going to change in a major way. A lot of light. I'm getting the sun. A lot of success. A lot of victory. A lot of happiness. A lot of healing. Virgo, you're going to make the right choice, guys. Whatever this decision is, whatever this is, you're going to make the right one, guys. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. You're in God's hands. You're going to be spiritually guided. And at the end, you're going to be ready to spread your wings and take off. Okay? So this is what you wanted. And I see it happening. This is another reading that is confirming a lot. Sorry, guys, with the squeaky toys in the back. Um, this, is, um, this was a good time for Stella to get her little play time in sorry guys um okay virgo so let's tap in let's get the tarot going on okay and i'll make this reading a little bit quick okay guys because i know the toys in the background could be annoying sometimes <laughs> all right virgo so 
You're going to be spreading your wings. You're going to get over this anxiety. You're going to realize that all of this is happening for your overall good. Okay, the stress, this tension, all of this is not necessary. You're going to realize that you're going to be spiritually led and guided, that you don't have to even worry or be concerned about where to go, what to do. It's all this information is going to be brought to you. Okay, so once you realize that, Virgo, that you don't have to really like figure everything out, do all the planning, all the thinking, plan A, plan B, plan C. Once you realize that you're really taken care of and you're in God's hands, that's when you're going to relax and that's when you're just going to be ready to be crowned, okay? You're going to be ready for your crown, all right, Virgo? It's like Spirit is saying, Virgo, allow the transformation to happen, Whatever happens at this time, go with the flow. But whatever you do, don't give up. Don't give up. Take spiritually guided action. I know I say that a lot, but that is what's needed. Um, when you're when it's time to make a decision, when it's time to do something, you always make sure that you are spiritually guided to do it. So you're caught in a, a situation where you're like, I don't know what to do, left or right. I don't know if I should go up or down, if I should leave or stay. I don't know if I should move or if I should do this or that. This is a good time to pray for that guidance. And when you realize that after you pray for this guidance, you, all the anxiety and stress is just going to melt away. You're going to know exactly what option, what opportunity to take, what decision, what choice. All right. Now, when it comes to, we're going to clarify this rest and reconsider, win or lose. All right. Now, because I see victory here, so I do see a winner. But let's see what's going on. Now, Virgo, when it comes to movement, choices, and decisions. Okay. We have, when it comes to, when it comes, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. All right, Virgo. So, again, this is all about abundance. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. All right, so this is all about that power position, that leadership, fully in control of your life. Um, this is a lot of money, Virgo, that you're going to be stepping into, guys. This is no joke. Okay, so that's what I was picking up from this energy. This is bigger than what I could even explain. This is... No wonder I'm getting like the light, like this beautiful aura of like golden light. Okay, um, Virgo, this is a high level position that you guys are. I feel like this is spiritual as well. For some of you, I feel like this is spiritual. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is all about family. Um, this is all about living a luxury, very fi financial free lifestyle, a large amount of money coming in. The Emperor, this is you, Virgo, in a very powerful leadership position. This could be you running your own business, managing all of this money. Um, this is definitely someone who... The emperor doesn't get to this level without spiritual guidance, okay? This is um this is big, guys, all right? So when it comes to movement, choices and decisions, this is all about your overall financial stability. 
okay? You guys are going to be making, uh, that's that money path energy I was picking up. You guys are going to be led down the path where you're going to be in a very powerful leadership position, okay? Where you're going to be writing checks for other people, okay? This is huge, Especially the emperor is already someone who is financially secure. But to have that ten of pentacles to accompany the emperor, this is big, Virgo. So you guys, I can understand the anxiety a little bit because you know this is big. This is like life changing, okay? So you want to make the right choice. And I see that you, it's like your spiritual team is going to step in. The Holy Spirit is going to step in and guide you down the right path of this leadership position that God has for you. All right. And with it comes a very nice salary, a very nice income. Okay. Wow. I'm definitely getting the energy of a new home. New lifestyle, you're definitely going to be moving, um, traveling for sure, Virgo. Um, wow, I'm just loving this energy for you, Virgo. To see you in this emperor energy, oh my God, guys. But what I'm getting is spirit is saying no need to fear, no need to have worry, Virgo. We're changing your life. This is something that you've earned. I feel like um, this is... Uh, your time. It's your time to shine. All right. This is your moment, guys, that you've been waiting for. It's coming in. It's happening. Now, I just really am so curious about why did rest and reconsider come out? Because I'm the energy that I'm getting here is like someone who's tired. Someone who's burnt out. Someone who's fought a good fight. And it's like... For some of you, yeah, this is that self-care energy I'm getting as well. For some of you, it's very important for you to take good care of yourselves at this time. Make sure you're getting a good proper rest. Make sure you're not stressing your own self out, Virgo. Um, make sure you guys are eating good. This is a good time. While, you know, instead of stressing out or having anxiety, make sure you're taking good, good care of yourself. Drink a lot of water at this time. You know, make yourself your nice favorite meals. You know, put those TV shows on that make you laugh. You know, just get in good spirits. Even though you can't understand, like, even though you don't, it's not crystal clear to you what's really going on around you. Just know it's a transformation happening for the better. Okay, this is a time to be laughing. Even though things may not seem, you know, what you want. Just this is a time to be so happy and grateful that it's like you're so favored. Okay, so for some of you, I'm picking up the energy of burnt out. All right. I do feel that. Now, yep, look at this. Wow. So we have the emperor here coming out twice. There we go. Virgo. It's like, guys, yep. Yeah, there's the ten of wands. This is that burdened energy, very tired, feeling like you're just about to give up. Virgo, it's like Virgo, yeah, the three of swords. Something is troubling you. Five of pentacles. All right, guys, the king of pentacles is right underneath. So this is telling me something. This is the corporate behind what you're going through. The stress, the anxiety, the worry, the wanting to give up. All right, guys, this is real. All right. During this time, it's like this could be someone around you, Capricorn, but we have the devil card here. 
All right. So this is the opposing force energy that's going to stop you. They're going to do their job to try to stop you and make you want to give up because this energy doesn't want you to succeed in this powerful position because you're going to be a good leader. You're going to be a good person. You're going to help change people's life. This energy doesn't want you to get to that point, okay, Virgo? So it's going to try to make you give up and quit. That's what this is. The Ten of Wands is someone who's on the verge of giving up, all right? But Spirit is like reminding you, Virgo. It's like... I'm hearing commander, dick, uh, I'm hearing a commander, like someone in control, someone in, you know, a powerful position. You're going to have like a business to run, people to manage. Okay, guys, it's like you guys are going to have to be strong. You're going to have to be tough because this powerful, yep, there's that crown. The crown is here. Virgo, you're going to be crowned. You're going to be favored you're going to be placed in a very powerful position and it's you're going to have you're going to you know it's going to be expected of you to do a very good job so you guys this is a good time to take good care of yourselves don't overstress or you know overburden yourself okay the devil is here showing me that they're going to try to use you feeling overwhelmed they're going to try to trigger your, 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 you know, sadness, try to trigger sorrow and pain. Okay. This could be physical, 